We had uh, match five played this week. That's the top one of the quarterfinals there. Klopp versus Squeaky G. And um, uh, this is probably the most disappointing part that we got to get over here. Um, <clears throat> so Age of Empires 4, as happens in Age 2, somewhat, to some extent, the uh, save files, they um, they don't work if uh, after after the game's been patched. You know, they say... Actually, now these save files are outdated, and the balance is completely wrong, and it'll be broken, so we can't let you load that. And uh, I thought we were safe. I thought we were safe for this one because they patched. Last Friday, they patched. And uh, so, you know, I thought, you know, play it. They're not going to do two patches in a week, two updates. Well, they did an update, and we lost both games there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll just... We'll just break that one right now. We'll just get that one out of the way right now. Let me. Uh, I'll open up H4 so we can take a look at the uh, take a look at the, the details. Anyways, the stats, the details, the info. But updating this bracket, I don't know if you might have guessed. I think a lot of people may have uh, may have had a good idea of how this one was going to go. Anyways, so we're just gonna hit that and. Uh, there we go. It's going to be Klopp, Swilly, David, and Namcap in the semifinals for that H4 main bracket. Squeaky G put up a good fight. They even played a fun little exhibition game after. They played a fun little game after Klopp and Squeaky G because the games were, you know, they were what they were. They were very quick games. Um, and, uh, and Klopp played with the villager only attempt to win and... Would have been a lot of fun to watch, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the L on that one. That's that's on me. So uh, okay, this is the first match that they played, and I, even we uh, we do have an overlay for this as well. Klopp one three two four on the English. One of his more common Civ picks, I think. Klopp comfortable on the English, the HRE, the uh, the Abbasid, probably his three mains. Not bad online win rate fifty nine percent, as you might expect from a seed one. That's pretty uh, solid elo for this group as well. We, uh, we're using the online stats for the H4 community bracket because, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've got a lot less history there. It's a defeat for Squeaky G. We're looking at it from his POV because Klopp has hidden his match history because he's a pro gamer and doesn't want people to steal his strats. Uh, we're just, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 16 minutes, 43 seconds on this, so we didn't miss too much. Quick, quick game. Quick game. We got these guys, pro yeah, gamer you Klopp. The moment, yeah. You can see the moment when Klopp attacked. Yeah, absolutely. This was uh, Roos versus English, so probably, probably a longbow push with some spears, maybe. But I, I would expect Squeaky G to be just completely unprepared for this stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what you expect from a first seed, exactly. People are going to try to be sniping all of, his, all of his strats already. And now, you know, it's even more of a mystery. Because we can't watch his games. Maybe this was planned. <laughs> maybe, maybe he told Relic to, you know, give that game a quick update before I recorded them. But, you know, the stats go pretty much as you might expect. So... That's that one. Game two. Let me pull that one up here. Color change, because I used a different template. Incredible. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got first time chat, Klopp1324. Remade my match history public. Much appreciated. Here we go. Ottomans. First Ottoman pick from Squeaky G. By I always throw this up as a transition and pull it back down without even mentioning anything on it. Ottomans versus HRE on Ancient Spires. This is the second time we've seen Ottomans in this in this tournament. Incredible. Love that. No but maps bans. No map bans. We were confident enough, I think, at this point. Nice. Villager count, total unit count. Again. We got like a, you know, 12 minute, I guess the the main first engagement is at like 9 minutes. Mm -hmm. Holy Roman Empire, probably Castle Age push with that one. But, again, pretty much what you might expect there. And one little last fun thing to get into 
this quick game that they played after they were done because wait a minute this one also only took 20 minutes so they had been playing for 45 minutes at the time and they both enjoy playing the game so they're like why not just get another one in there yeah, all right. just a little bonus just a little exhibition for the stream which so sad we cannot watch but we can look at the match history and glean a little bit of something out of this so absent dynasty versus Roos, and total unit count <laughs> i think we can see something curious going on here um okay what's what's going on here what's all this uh, military count perhaps uh villager only attack <laughs> and it worked out pretty much as well for clop as it did for squeaky g and uh <laughs> and gunman in their game but <laughs> so uh technically i guess you could say that set went to uh, two one in favor of clop squeaky g taking one game off of that <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna put this one into the stats sheet but um a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm not sure this was a tournament game. But, <laughs> but I uh, I checked in on him at one point, and I think Klopp had almost gotten... I mean, he was so close. Squeaky G, like, dropped a castle in his own base to protect his, like, last landmark. He had almost won that game. But there we go. So that's all the age four that we have for now. But... I think I have a notification. Group invite. Not just now. I want to get make sure we get everything out of the way first. Now, that's over with. Klopp moves on to the semifinals to face Swilly, if I'm not mistaken. GG. It's a good time to, to get back over this stuff a little bit. Give us a little bit of a look back on where we came from. So this was the first ever tournament uh that we played but even before this i'm worried clicking anything in this scene is going to break obs even before this we had a thriving little community uh in the providence christian college in pasadena california uh really uh really started really initiated by one arduous vape I'll, uh, you may know him as steve uh you know the 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 standard the classic college Facebook group situation. I jumped on there, made a few memes with GIMP, you know, got in the good books, started uh, started getting involved with that stuff. We um we used to play Age of Empires 2 HD edition. Uh, in like the the college office conference room after hours because it was the best place on campus for with Wi-Fi, and you know you you got like four to eight people in there all playing. I'll play an age, so it's gonna suck up a lot of Wi-Fi power. Um, <laughs> look at these, these memes. Uh, this was starting all the way back in like 2014, 2015. 3 to 4 a.m. is a little bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it was a little late. We used to get old Jonathan K to uh, get the admin key to unlock us and get us into that <laughs> into that office. <laughs> we, we'd uh, get really nervous whenever the janitor would come in. And, in case he tried to kick us out but uh yeah so that's kind of where we started and uh okay two to three a.m i mean i don't know if, if all those guys were that much of night owls you know oh, that's the wrong thing keep that on okay so now we move up this is a, this 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 one was was organized basically over facebook messenger back in the days when facebook you know wasn't widely received as a terrible company product and everything um i actually had to reactivate my facebook account in order to send uh an invite message to all these guys again for this tournament this year and yeah i uh, i did <laughs> confession time i'm not changing the scene back to the camera i'm too i'm too afraid that the entire thing will die uh, confession time, that campus, the, uh, the William Carey campus is where, where Providence was located at the time, and, um, it was, it was a fairly old situation, not, uh, maintenance wasn't the greatest, you know, um, so a, a lot of the doors and things, if you were someone with enough wiles and enough wits, and, and, uh, and lacking enough scruples, I guess, <laughs> That I'm talking about myself, so you know, uh, you could generally get around a lot of the locks and 
uh, you know, sometimes just pushing doors, uh, you know, pushing them, get, getting the edge open just so you get your arm in there and push the bar or like, you know, once or, once or twice they used to use like some speaker wire, wiggle it in between the cracks. But nothing particularly necessary or valid by any means to do. I don't recommend it. And if you get caught, you could, you could, you, you know, things could happen, depending. It was a very relaxed campus. All the security guards were cool. But on a real college campus, uh, yes, I'm implying Providence is not a real college campus there. On a real college campus, you might want to not do any of that stuff. So, yeah, they've entirely moved on. Yeah, exactly. So if you go there now, you won't, you won't even find most of the same buildings. They've remodeled. But this was the original one that we did over... Christmas break of 2016, unstreamed, and as you can see, mostly like probably two thirds of the way finished. A lot of interesting things here. This is the, also the beginning of our data set for the, uh, the Omega sheet that we'll be working off of when I release that in the future. This is the first one that we took real seriously. This is the first one that we streamed in 2017, Summer Championship, and I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, I don't know if anybody in the chat knows at this point, but I think we didn't finish the grand final. I believe that 21st game, Arduous Vape and Major Spammer was completed. Major Spammer being Aloysian. A lot of, uh, a lot of pseudonyms here. I believe Aloysian won that and moved up to the grand final versus Caltango, but by then it was already August and we were unable to complete that one. Yeah, Cam is Cameron with the insider info in the chat. Yeah, so, you know, I think if both of them show up, for example, tonight, it would be a lot of fun to just get that finished. It's been hanging over my head for five years at this point, 2017 to 2022, you know, get that get that one out of the way. Find out who who among those two will will take that just one, just just a single quick game. You know, I'd, I'd be interested in that. Thank you guys for prompting the ability for me to stall here. I was about to blast through everything that I have for tonight. But here is a third annual. Now, at the time with these, I... Yeah, okay, so I was unclear. I went through all this historical stuff this year, right before starting this tournament, setting up all this stuff in OBS. I couldn't even find half the brackets forever. I had to scroll way up like, oh man, I scrolled up so far on that Facebook chat to find, to find the 2016 one. <laughs> and this is what we got ended up with, like, okay, man. But, um, yeah, it turns out one week is not long enough to do even a tournament of this size. But, yeah, so then we, we move on, 2018. We're branching out a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Before I, I'm, I'm all over the place. This is un, this is uh, unprepared. So this is the first one where we really got a lot of people involved, and let's see, the first. Uh, I think it might be the first occurrence of major spammer. Is Austin here? No, this was the one. I remember talking to Austin. This is this is the first time I'd ever met him. I think Steve was talking about how he knew him from like church youth group or soccer team or something and uh man that was crazy we uh we talked on a call i think we might have like facebook called no oz uh it was a uh, aloysian <laughs> aloysian missed a couple of those in the middle yeah she the distance, were you here in this one? Oh, yeah, look at that, Ted and Rhea. There we go. Fully doxxed on stream, by the way. Love that. A um, couple other names that are repeats here. Taylor and Cameron. This was also a random drawing. I think maybe besides one or two of these. I, I don't remember if this was random and you just got lucky on, uh, on that game four. <laughs> But yeah, randomly paired up teams. We did like a drawing out of a hat. I set up like my phone webcam into uh, uh, with like a background of my dad's fish tank, like in my temporary room back home over Christmas break. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, the number one millionth seed. Yeah, that might have been what it was. You might have been together just because it was easier for you guys. 
But other than that, it was a fully random drawing, I think, for most of the time here. Like uh, Taylor and, and uh, Wolf of the North there. Caltego and Wolf of the North being on the same team seems a little bit random. But a lot of good stuff. Will, Will Southern almost got him in. Almost got Will into this tournament, but he, he didn't quite get the... Uh, get the memo in time he was he wasn't able to fill out that sign up sheet haven't heard from the guy since but here we are back on uh, here's 2017 the second one and uh, a couple of new additions we got koala kush we got kyle hoogstra okay tom bombadil first time first time here and tom bombadil gets uh one owed in the first round that he's in by major spammer if you can believe that and now we uh, we may indeed see a rematch <laughs> uh, of that very game coming up uh, coming up next week. It's scheduled the grand final is scheduled for the 16th of uh, December. So very much looking forward to seeing that rematch. Major Spammer takes on Caltego, loses to Caltego into Tilly's the finals, just and then claws his oh, way back answer. up to the top. Oh, we got a prime sub. Thank you, Silly Seth. Those Prime subs are expiring. We started this this, uh, this this whole thing about a month ago, I think. So I'll definitely re-up those if you're if you're interested in supporting this uh, this whole situation. Two days, you'll get another one. Yes, love it. Tom Bombadil, Kyle Hoogstra, another Canadian that we don't know much about. Lost two zero. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess this the double the double. Elimination, he really fills out this bracket a lot. But now we move on to 2018. And uh, this was... Hang on. 2018. Wait, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Do I know hey. Here? Yeah, I absolutely. Well, as some of the other people who, are, who might be watching this, but... For sure. Yeah. I've been around this whole time, theoretically. <laughs> You've been around. You missed. You missed out on 2017. See the distance in the in the chat, by the way, in okay. in the booth. 2018. Yeah. Here, so here's the 2018 third third annual. At this point, I was just straight up lying when I was making these back in the day. I didn't know like what which annual like number we were on, but I think I got it right for the most part. We got you know Wolf of the North. Versus Hold My Gluten Free Beer, aka Noah from Texas. In round one, he's providing every data point we have for Texan AoE 2 players. Really uh, not looking good for those guys, but this is Wolf of the North making it up to the semifinals. Incredible. I don't know how these points got distributed. It seems a little bit sus, some of these, but Jonathan K versus Luke Walls. I don't know how we got him in here. Amazing. I felt really bad taking on Evelyn Cruz this year as well. Oh, uh, Evelyn <laughs> in the tournament? Oh, no, she, she was she, she was four years ago, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to remember. I think it might be the one after this. But I... Uh, 2019. But I had just graduated from college. I had moved home because I had no other plan, no other thing I could do at that point. And I was working at the UPS store, and uh, I was trying to organize all this stuff, and I was texting people, like, constantly, and trying to set up games and things. Um, and, you know, that it ended up spilling over to my, like, working hours. And I almost got in you, trouble with uh, you were, the manager. You were all in on that UPS job. I know that. Yeah, all, all in, in part-time at the UPS front desk. Incredible stuff. I can never go into another UPS store again. <laughs> Left after four months of of personal crisis, like life crisis. But uh, came to me at school, and the rest is history. Yeah. Right. So that was 2019. You were trying to was organize. that 2019? You graduated in 2018. So would that Christmas? Yeah. 2018. Oh, did we do like two immediate? I don't remember. I do not remember, but I think it might have been this one. It really kept me going, held me, held me together a little bit in a in a should, struggle time for me. So you should relabel these for your own sanity. 
I mean, I got the years. I just don't remember which one was right after I graduated. <laughs> but... Like, yeah, Howdy, what games do we have today? Well, David, right now we're we're stalling and going over some old, old-timey, old historical, uh, you know, throwback, like, information. We're, we're just giving some story time stuff right now. Yeah, but, we're doing a history lesson because our, our um, replays got corrupted. We had a few replays corrupted. Uh, we'll see if we can get the right people in to do a live AoE 4 game. If you can contact Namcap, I'd love to see that. Or uh, or Swilly versus uh, versus Klopp as well is, is another option. But that would be cool to see before 8 p.m. Uh, alternative. Also, also we have uh, we have one and a half age two sets to get through, and uh, one age four set to talk about. But so this we're looking at we're looking at these we're, we're flashing them randomly on screen. Totalitarian Owl. That's me, by the way, versus Aloysian yeah. in the grand final. I I was very salty to lose that one, but I think it was the fair ending there. <laughs> I think we, uh, we had the easier bracket I, half on that top I, side as well. One thing I've been missing as you've been organizing and commentating this whole thing is seeing you play. Yeah. Well, you we'll see. You have been playing in this tournament this year. It's true. I decided, I, I made the choice and was not this time talked out of the choice to uh, step back and focus on the production and the organization. And I think that was the right thing to do just because I bit off quite a lot this year with two games and two brackets each so it's well, been uh it's been interesting that your production level is very high for the um, <laughs> amount that we've done this much appreciated so probably probably too high probably too try hard but i would love to see you play next year yeah yeah we'll see i'm i'm definitely well, thinking we'll of some interesting different methods of uh of tournament play next year uh, keep your ears open because i'm actually really excited i wish we could just go straight into that right now in fact so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be cool the future is bright i i tell you so it looks like you pretty much have just avoided playing any uh 1v1 tournaments in this yeah. history so far you just like if I... dad's playing i'm in otherwise i'm out it's kind of that <laughs> i was always kind of hesitant and it's only like this year you asked me and I was like, what the hell? You yeah. know? You really have just thrown the cares to the wind this year. I love it. Story of my life. I've, I've gotten a lot more willing to try things. <laughs> as time has gone on, so... That's great. So this yeah. here is the 4th, 2019. In the summer. Again, this one... Yeah, okay, so it was the 2018 one when I was working at the UPS store. This one, I'm, my, my memory is returning slowly. Uh, this was, we, I was streaming like from the floor of the new apartment that I live in now, that I just moved into with, uh, with Luke Walls. <laughs> I didn't have a desk, and we had, I had like, I was like panicking trying to set up the, the internet and get it connected, like the day of this was, when this was supposed to start. <laughs> So uh, I, that was a good time. Good, good, good memories from all the from all these tournaments. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks for suggesting this. Whoever that was, silly Seth. Silly. But in here, I think this is the first appearance of the Wisco boys. By the way, we got both teams, Osglox and Cygris at slash FF at fifteen. Okay, a little a little free for all maybe for H four. We'll see where we're at once we get through all this stuff. I'm uh, definitely not in a rush right now. Rocket Cat and Major Pectoralis. I have no idea who those guys are, which is part of the reason why this grand final was also never finished. Because you didn't know how to contact. Yep, that's Yeah. Good. Nut and Silly Seth, a.k.a. Team Ramrod. This is when you met Mr. Lewis back in 2019. <laughs> I think I remember that. He was like, hey, I got, I got a friend at work. And he might be interested. We've talked about AoE before. Great. Noah Hamstra and Engle. Noah Hamstra, I think, is returning there. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Not sure if I remember all these names right. But we got a few people bringing in some one-timers as well. You know, Aloysian are always like seems to have a different 
teammate from his pool of friends that are otherwise uninvolved. It's, it's cool to see. I get more people in on this. Maybe more loyalists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those Wisconsin boys really bring the life of the party, so it's, it's great. Uh, looks like you and Dad skipped this one as well. Unless I'm missing looks something. Looks like we did. But, yeah. So there's that. And the last historical one that we have here. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Scale that up. I can't even, I can't see a darn thing. Maybe I'll have to go bright mode on the on the current ones too. That looks way better. That versus this. Yeah, I prefer this. But it looks it looks the same. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you got the stream lag on this. But yep. this is this is largely from my take a a bit of a repeat of 2019. Obviously, we had a gap year in 2020. We didn't we didn't quite do anything. I guess it was the summer of 2019, the winter of 2021. Yeah, we had to bring it back, you know, we, we had to bring it back. Team America, William carried. There's the Wonder Twins down there. Incredible you, name. You always say, why did they choose that name? <laughs> and I don't know if I've had the chance to say this on stream, but it's because Dad suggested it as yeah. a joke. And <laughs> didn't expect me to agree to it because I thought it would be funny. Why did he suggest that? That's such a weird I name. I don't know. You'd have to ask him, but he just threw it out there, and I was like, all okay. right. Well, there you go. I couldn't come up with anything better. And we got free real estate, the first seed uh, team there, Aloysian and a fence post, his friend, uh, who I think streams as well. I don't know. But uh, taking that first place off Team Ramrod. Another situation there where we're going to have a bit of a rematch, or we have had, and we are going to be watching today, Silly Seth versus Aloysian. We have one of those games recorded and ready to go. So that's a, a, little, bit, a little bit of tension in the air, perhaps, from years past. You never know. And then, of course, Koala Kush and, uh, and T-Bird taking that bronze match. Don't mind if I do. <laughs>